In one of my last videos, I showed you how to do the transparent subtitle effect on DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, and Final Cut Pro. And you've asked for a version on how to do it on CapCut. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a transparent subtitle effect on CapCut. Now, full disclaimer, I am not a CapCut Pro user. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do it. We may or may not encounter a paywall. And if we do, I will be purchasing CapCut in order to get you through this tutorial. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to do it on your phone as well, because there is a difference between the phone app and the desktop app. So let's dive right in. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is add your footage to CapCut. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, drag and drop. Now, this video is already edited just to kind of save time with the tutorial, but I haven't done the captions yet. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on. First thing I wanna do is obviously add this to the timeline. And once it's in the timeline, we're gonna to want to caption the video. So to do that, you can go to the top, under captions and we want to generate captions. You'll notice how there's a paywall after uh, we generate it once. So we have one free try and boom, there we go. Now, one thing that I do want to note is that you want to be using a larger font style. Uh, for example, I'm going to use this Ubuntu and I'm going to go bold on it. Why? Because the bolder the text, the better that the effect actually shows up. Next thing we want to do is place the subtitles where we're going to want them. Let's say here. And you also want to format your captions so that there isn't too much text on screen at once. It, it helps people just kind of read the caption. It increases the activity on screen, which helps with retention, but also it allows you to see the effect more visibly in the videos. So what I'm gonna do is take a moment here to just kind of break down the captions. Uh, and this is one of the first things that I, I don't love about CapCut is that it doesn't do such a great job at this, but let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so I'm keeping the captions pretty short so that we can maximize the text on screen here. Next thing we wanna do is make sure that we're on that bold setting here. And we're gonna keep it fairly simple. I'm gonna play this back. If you watched my video on how to do this on DVG Resolve, it was fairly simple because all you do is you go to the text layer and you go to blend, but you can't do that on CapCut. So you have to work around it and this is how you do it. I basically downloaded a green screen photo from Google. I'm gonna drag that up just on top of my layer here and I'm gonna lengthen for the entire length of the video. I'm gonna rotate it to vertical, enlarge it. Yes, so basically that's, that's what we wanna do. We're gonna disable, deactivate the lower clip. And what we wanna do now is export the subtitles. I'm gonna to go to top right, export. And would you look at that? We're already hitting a paywall. It's saying that I'm using features that apparently I'm allowed to be using once but I can't. So I'm gonna have to purchase. So let's go ahead and purchase this. 20 minutes later. All right, so I had to do it. I had to sign up for CapCut Pro. It is what it is, but I still wanna show you how to do this. So we're gonna go to export and we're gonna keep the resolution very high. Bit rate, very high as well on our higher. We're gonna keep everything the same. We're gonna export it just to the desktop for ease. Now, the next thing we wanna do is import that clip into CapCut. We're gonna disable the subtitle layer just for now. And with this clip here, we're gonna disable the green screen as well. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to remove background. We're gonna go to chroma key, grab the eye drop tool, and we're gonna click on green. So now we've re removed the background from the subtitles. Now we can apply an effect to the subtitle. So we're gonna go to basic, go down to blend, and you'll notice, unlike when we have the subtitle layer, we now have a blend mode available that we did not have previously. So this is where we can change the blend mode for the subtitle layer. It gives us some different effects, but the closest thing would be this overlay. I think overlay would be the best one. Now, the way that you can actually blend this in with your existing subtitles is to like say that for a section here where it's hard to see, what I would actually do, let's, if we re-enable this layer and we go to this part here, where it starts to get a little bit hard to see. I would maybe disable these ones here, enable those there, and disable these here, for example. But we may want this font color to be, let's go black. So we can do this and get this result here. So basically that's how you do it with CapCut. I know it's a bit of a complex process, but this is why I would recommend using a professional software instead. All right, so I'm gonna interrupt myself real quick because as I was putting this video together, 
Uh, I was a little bit frustrated with the fact that you have to go through this entire green screen process to get this effect. So I thought there has to be another way. So I started clicking around and I found how to do it. So this is a feature apparently that CapCut added sometime last year, but the ability to create compound clips. Now what's a compound clip? A compound clip is a clip that contains multiple other clips. So we're gonna turn the subtitle layer into a compound clip. The way that we do this is on our timeline here, we select all of the subtitles, you right click them, you go to create compound clip, and that's gonna be your new clip. Real quick, if you were to double clip it, double click the clip, you can still access the subtitles and edit them, which is awesome. If we were to just select this clip, go to the top right video, Go down to blend you'll notice that the blend mode feature is now enabled so you can then apply the effect onto the compound clip instead of going through the entire green screen process now you can choose whichever one you want but i think this is the easier one of the two and i just had to put this into the video but anyways let's get back to it as i said in the beginning of the video i'm going to show you how to do this on the phone because it is a little bit different i just opened up CapCut here and we're going to go to i'm going to edit new project we're going to import the clip we're going to add the clip here and then what we want to do is we're going to go to captions generate from video and we're going to go just default for this and we're going to let it do it okay there we go we're going to disable this clip altogether you unlink the video and then you have your captions there so the next thing you want to do is we want to add another video photos green screen Add. And we're going to lengthen the green screen for the entire length of the video. Perfect. And then we want to go to export. We're going to open up the video. Once again, we're going to remove the layer there. We're going to remove the captions. Uh, while I do this, let me know in the comments if you are a fan or not of editing on your phone. Personally, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of editing on my phone. I find it very tedious, but it looks like all my clips are gone now. We're gonna add in this clip again, and then we're going to add another video on top. Add overlay. We're gonna add the captions layer. We're gonna size it. Then we're gonna go to green screen, background removal, remove background, chroma key. We're gonna select the green, enter, color picker, there we go, the green, accept it. Now that we have the layer here, we can actually go to splice and under splice, that's the blend mode that we're looking for. We can actually change the effect of the subtitles to create transparent subtitles. And if you can see here, it looks like they have a much more different effect than they did on the desktop. So when we put this here and we click play. We started out like most companies. We picked a niche, created an offer, opened an Instagram account, and started posting a bunch of pretty photos and graphics to promote our services. But a year into it, we weren't growing. And at the time, I didn't understand what we were missing or how to fix it. No, that's how you do the transparent subtitles on CapCut. If you found this video helpful, I want to invite you to click the subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys that are watching are not subscribed to the channel, but it really does help us. If you found this valuable, if you could subscribe because we're really trying to grow our channel this year and provide you more value. This is really what keeps us going. On this channel, we talk about social media marketing tips and strategies, content creation, real world reviews, and the behind the scenes of making it all happen. My name's Seb, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.